The Brentford youth team have got the season off to a cracking start and were still unbeaten after their opening seven matches of the season. The youth team, headed by youth development officer Joe Gadstone, forms a vital breeding ground for new footballing talent. Between six and eight youngsters are recruited to the side each season and those to have risen from the ranks of the youth squad include current first team regulars Jamie Bates and Keith Millen. We caught up with the squad at the London Transport Sports Ground as they took on Bristol City. The game finished, Brentford 1, Bristol City 2. The youth team's only defeat of the season to date. We asked Joe Gadstone why the side have got the season off to such a flying start. Um, well, I think all the players at the club have had, a, including the youth team, had an excellent pre-season. It was well organised and they're very, very fit. Um, they've got a good uh, spirit going. Um, there's some very good players uh, that have a good influence about, uh, amongst others. Um, and we've got quite a nice blend of uh, and shape to the uh, squad that we've got uh, this year. And um, I, I feel we've got a reasonable squad this year. Um, but we've got, I think, one or two exceptionally good players, and I think that's been the main reason why we've done so well uh, early part of the season. Is there anyone in particular you're keeping your eye on? Um, yes, I think Cole Hutchins. I think Cole Hutchins is a is a great prospect for the future. Um, and Tamar Aouf has done very, very well. But um, the lads, as a, as a team, as a squad, in their pre-season, in their games, they work very hard. Uh, they're a good bunch of lads to work with. And I think it shows on the pitch that they're, uh, they're spirited um, and they want to do well. And uh, that's what this game is about, passion for the game and wanting to work. And how important is it for Brentford to have a strong youth squad? I mean, is there a policy to, to supply the first team in the reserves? It's essential. Um, we're not a Tottenham Hotspurs or Manchester United. Uh, we have to endeavour to try and uh, provide pr players through to the first team. Um, so, yes, it's, uh, it's the, the most essential aspect of the, running a youth side, not to run the South East Counties side, not to win the South East Counties. Not necessarily to win every game, but to, to provide at the end of the season players that can come through and uh, that Phil can use in the first team eventually. And are there any players in the current first team lineup and squad? The two that spring to my mind are Jamie Bates and Keith Millen. Um, uh, both came, as far as I know, through uh, a youth scheme, obviously several years ago now, but those are the two players that I would pick out. How do you select uh, youngsters for the squad? Well, for the squad, it's select them really for the YTS scheme as an apprentice. Um, we now select, we know our apprentices uh, for next year now because we run uh, sides at under 16 level, under 15 level, and we now have three centres of excellence where we're uh, continually uh, assessing boys. So we really have got it now so that we know the boys that we're going to assess. And those boys generally have to have um, several, th several things in common, a passion for the game, a good character, uh, a good outlook on the game, to want to win, but to want to learn. Um, and it's not always about being told that they're good. Sometimes they have to be helped and put right on things. But generally, the word is desire, to want to do well. And um, what advice would you give to anyone watching who wants to break into football? Well, to work very hard on his skill, to try and master the ball. Um, boys now don't get as many opportunities to play street games. Uh, and this shows when boys, you know, the, the tricks that you learn as a kid in the street, playing street games, are no longer evident. Boys have to be taught more skills, uh, particularly tricks and things like that. I would suggest that any kid wants to make it to work very hard at mastering the ball, uh, watch good teams, see the tricks of the, of the great players, try and emulate them, uh, and try and, and not be afraid to try them out in games, you know, in their school games, to try. 
and also to keep keep trying, keep trying, keep playing, keep practicing, um, and they'll reach the level that they that they're aiming at if they're good enough. Goal scorer Carl Hutchings told us how he came to join the Brentford youth squad. Yeah, well, um, I started off at Chelsea. I was down Chelsea for about um, three or four years, and then um, I left Chelsea. And the Sunday team that I was playing for, the manager of that was a scout for Brentford, and he brought me down. And I trained with Brentford for about under 15, and then um, gradually got through, and then under 16 was picked to play for Apprentice. The team's doing great at the moment. Why do you think that is? Um, well, we've got a lot of team spirit. We just play together, and everyone just helps each other out, basically. Uh, what prompted you to go into football as a career in the first place? Um, and I've just always loved football from like when I used to play at school in the playground. That was it. And what are your long term ambitions? Um, I hope to become a professional footballer. Hopefully, one day play for England and go on.